Hello, and welcome to Worship Matters. I'm Mitchell Crawford. Over the past few weeks, we've been exploring this amazing E.M. Skinner instrument at Old South Church. And today we're going to continue that with a look at the string stops available on this organ. The abundance and variety of string stops are one of the features that make it a very opulent instrument. As a matter of fact, strings, generally speaking, are one of the most rarely used of all of the families of organ tone. And so the fact that we have so many on this instrument is truly amazing and allows for some effects that just are not achievable on other instruments. So we're going to begin with a look at the aptly titled string division. The string division on the instrument contains three distinct sets of pipes, all of which can be used together to create the sound of a symphonic string section. The first is a sort of mild set of strings, the viol d'orchestre and the viol celeste. A more narrow sound is the dulcet and the dulcet celeste. And moving into a bolder, more moderate sound is the gamba and gamba celeste. As we'll find when we go through this demonstration, a lot of these sounds are best when they're compiled together. So here is the sound of the string division all together. So perhaps you're thinking, gosh, I love the sound of those string division gambas. I wish there were more gambas that we could listen to and possibly add together to make even more interesting sounds. Well, as luck would have it, you can, because we have several distinct sets of gambas on the organ. There are the gambas that live in the swell division. And also the ones of the solo division. And then the ones we just heard, the ones that live in the string division. And again, the best is when you can add all of these sounds together. Here is the sound of the organ's gambas. It's that combination of all the sounds together that most closely imitates symphonic strings because just like in a symphony, the more players, the more sets of pipes, the more orchestral the sound. The string stops of the choir division are some of the most evocative on the instrument. They're also a bit quieter than the strings found in other divisions, and they're of a different construction as well. Both the Gemshorn and Gemshorn Celeste and the two-ranked Kleine Erzähler are what are known as hybrid stops because they have attributes of both string and flute stops. So they're also a bit tapered. Um, you can see in the picture, they just look a little bit different than the strings that you find elsewhere in the organ. So starting with the Kleine Erzähler, here are the sounds of the choir division. hushed sound. You can almost miss it. Its cousin is the Gemshorn and Gemshorn Celeste. It's a little bit bigger. And complementing both of those is a stop that plays an octave higher, the two-rank Flute Celeste. But once again, perhaps the best sound is 
combining all of those together into the strings of the choir division. Now we can completely change the quality of that sound by adding a few things. First, the tremulant and our supercoupler, which is going to give it a much warmer quality and a little bit more variety in the pitch classes as well. So it's the same pipes playing, just with the addition of couplers to duplicate the pitches across more than one octave, and the addition of a tremulant, which is affecting the movement of wind through the pipes. Perhaps not surprisingly, there are string stops even in the unenclosed grate and pedal divisions of the organ here at Old South. And in fact, two of the organ's 32-foot stops are strings. There's the 32-foot dulciana, And then the 32-foot violon, whose pipes are stenciled and contained in the left gallery of the church. Thanks for tuning into Worship Matters as we've continued our look behind the scenes of this E.M. Skinner instrument here at Old South Church. It's been a particular pleasure of mine to spend a few weeks with the organ as it really is a remarkable instrument and some of the sounds that you're able to produce on it are simply not reproducible elsewhere. It's got an amazing variety of sounds and I hope that's come through in some of these demonstrations. So next week we'll actually be moving away from the organ to some other elements of worship, but I hope you'll tune in and be with us then. Take care. <laughs>